today here we're with Michael Bakari who's going to explain to us why podiatry. Okay, so Michael, why did you get into podiatry? Um, I've always wanted to work with patients. Okay. And um, over the years I was thinking which area should I work, maybe medicine or physiotherapy or nursing. Yeah. At the time when I was in Nigeria, I wanted to do uh, medicine. Yep. But when I travelled over, I stumbled um, <laughs> on podiatry. And I thought, you know, you could do a course, you can specialise. Uh, you could be independent, you yep. can work privately, you can work uh, in the health service um, and you didn't have to go through a medical study. And I thought that was fantastic um, and the more I learnt about it, the more affinity I had towards it and therefore I'm glad to do the study. Fantastic. So you went away, you got your degree after three years, hard yeah. work. Yes. Then what happened? What did you kind of go and do then? Actually, in my final year, yep. I was very fortunate, I, I applied for three jobs. Yep. Uh, and actually got um, two interviews um, out of those, one yep. in, uh, in Lucian yep. uh, and one in uh, Hammersmith, um, Chelsea and Hammersmith and City somewhere okay. in yep. that area. And um, I went for both interviews and actually got both jobs. Ooh, so I was okay. fortunate to, to make a choice as yep. into which one I wanted to go. And it wasn't really difficult because at the time I did live in Lucian. Okay, yeah. So stumbling out of bed, you know, <laughs> rolling into work was a fantastic idea and yep. therefore I chose Lucian. Okay. Um, so I worked as a basic gay podiatrist doing a normal cut and come again but yep. it was really lovely because I had a wonderful team who, who helped me settle down quite uh, quite well yep. um, and really started me on a ladder uh, of working as a podiatrist. Brilliant. Okay so a few years <coughs> down the line where are you now and what are you doing? Well I'm still a podiatrist. Yeah <laughs> brilliant. <God. laughs> uh, and I'm married with a little kid but anyway that's Fantastic. what it's about. Um, <laughs> Um, I, I've worked, I think, over time, I, I did work quite hard in Lucian, um, and from that I attended many courses. I think the first one I did was a steroid injection course, okay, um, yeah. so that's helped me, you know, obviously improve, and I've been able to give steroid injections. Yep. Um, from that, I started a master's program in yep. the University of Staffordshire. Um, I didn't do my research, but it was very, very useful uh, throughout the whole studies. And, and what, what was that in? Um, clinical biomechanics. Okay. Clinical cool. biomechanics, yep. um, which was very really helpful, and I've also done some study in the University of Brighton as well, in terms of rheumatology, um, rheumatology MSc uh -huh. um, study. So, um, having done that, uh, I was able to leave Lucian yep. and then go into sit in Hackney, where I'm working as a band seven podiatrist, specialising in biomechanics uh, and rheumatology. Okay, um, cool. So, so, what does your sort of? I know there is never such thing as a typical day, yes. but what is what's your kind of what sort of things do you get involved with day to day for your for your job? Day to day, um, I'll say 90% of my work is biomechanics. Even yep. during uh, doing the rheumatology clinic, uh, yep. and still looking at biomechanical aspects of it and relating yep. that to the physiology. Yep. Um, I'll see a patient on a day, uh, we'll assess them, do an assessment cl uh, clinic, yep. uh, and sometimes do an ultrasound uh, um, scan on, on the patient. Obviously not diagnostic, yep. um, but just to kind of familiarise myself with, with, the, uh, with the equipment. Uh, I do steroid injections quite regularly yep. um, into joints, uh, into neuromas, do local anaesthetic, sometimes I do diagnostic diagnostic LA uh, for Baxter's nerve and that sort of stuff. Um, um, I do education um, okay. with, with the patients and also with students um, as well who kind of come and, and shadow the clinic as well. Uh, okay. um, and in some cases obviously we treat ulcers because you know rheumatoid patients are immunocompromised and sometimes they can have difficult ulcerations. So it's, it's a bit of a mix really. Uh, Fantastic. From, uh, doing a basic um, hard skin and callus, doing the dressings and looking at biomechanical aspects of the patients. Brilliant. So, so you fell into podiatry completely by accident yes. and I'm guessing there are lots of other people out there who are looking at doing a medical, well, medically related career. What would your advice be if somebody's considering podiatry? I'd say go for it. Yeah. I'd say go for it because at the end of the day, you know, you look at the advantages and disadvantages. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you can work privately, yep. advantage, you can work in a health service, yep. advantage, and you can work along a whole load of spectrum. So you could go as far as doing podiatric surgery yep. um, and, you know, uh, be renowned, you know, yep. do loads, loads of um, operations. Yep. You could do biomechanics and sports injuries, you know, yep. and you can work in really good industries and work with people. You could work in a diabetic field, work in a multidisciplinary group um, with, with other nurses and uh, consultants and that. You can work uh, as 
doing basic podiatry work, you know, yeah. cutting nails, doing hard skin and corns. Yeah. You can go into dermatology. So the scope is massive. Yeah. Um, and you can really just decide, like, you know, after I'm qualifying, this is what I want to go into. You know, yeah. and you've got a choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I feel it's recession proof as well. So uh, although, you know, in certain things, you might not have the patients or the clientele um, who you would see, but if you diversify, even under the same umbrella as podiatry, yeah. I think you would work quite well. Now, someone would say, well, what are the demerits? Um, <laughs> I think, you know, one of the merits I find is that I tell someone I'm a podiatrist and they're like, what? what um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like, are you in Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think, I think en- enough is, isn't known about podiatry as a profession, even amongst yeah. the populace. And I think we probably need to work harder yeah. to let people understand that actually we're more than just a nail service. We're pretty yeah. much foot specialists. Yeah, brilliant. That's great. Thanks for your time, Michael. Thank you. Cheers.